uh, in this topic we will be talking about the different type of tasks which affect the performance management process of expatriates uh, we discussed in uh, the previous topic that the various type of tasks are involved in performing a job uh, so the task the type of task they will affect how the performance management process takes place and how rigorous and how complex the performance management process has to be according to the tasks which are to be uh, which are to be performed by the international employee so various type of tasks uh, could be there in a particular job but in this particular topic we have classified the task into four categories and um, these categories may be performed uh, by one person they may be performed by multiple people so it is possible that the job of a person can involve all these tasks it is possible that the job of the person may involve uh, a combination of these ta uh, these tasks so this is not a boundary that a person who is uh, conducting the task of ceo or subsidiary manager cannot be a structure reproducer but rather it is possible that a person who is conducting the ceo task will also be doing the structure reproducer task uh both in, uh, in in line with each other so it is uh, it is not uh, the boundary between the persons it is the boundary rather a mental category in which the task have been described have, have been uh, uh, differentiated and, uh, so so that the performance of the person on each of these tasks can be uh, separately measured because they have different uh, uh they they require different knowledge skills and abilities they require different type of attitudes and they they lead to different type of outcomes so that is why we need to distinguish the tasks that a person has to perform in a uh, in an international context so the ex in the expatriate task the number one task which a expatriate manager may need to perform is that of ceo or subsidiary manager so if the person is at the ceo level then that person would be managing the entire subsidiary or if it is the subsidiary manager uh, like a person who is heading the finance function or the marketing function then that would be particularly related with that particular uh, 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 unit of the organization uh, so the task of the person ceo or subsidiary manager is oversee and direct entire foreign operations uh so that the task of a ceo is to make sure that everything is going according to plans everything is under control and that person is as a figure head for the entire subsidiary and sitting at top of the organization to make sure that everything is right working under the foreign operation uh so that is the task of monitoring that is the task of overseeing that is the task to make sure that the organization is going in the right direction it is going in the right direction according to the strategic goals and objectives of the organization it is going in the right direction in terms of its local relevance and it is going in the right direction in terms of uh, the employees who are working in that organization so from all different aspects the ceo has to make sure that the organization is moving in the right direction so ceo uh, has to make sure that the direction of organization is according to the goals and objectives which are set by the multinational in a global uh, scenario uh, then the second type of task is of structure reproducer uh, so a, a person who is sent for this particular task is supposed to reproduce the structure that is held by the parent organization in its parent country and in other countries in which the multinational already exists so that structure may be from the perspective of human resource management it may be from the perspective of developing the organizational structure of the organization it may be from the perspective of developing the marketing department marketing function the way you go and approach your target market developing that uh, those marketing dynamics that could also be a part of structure reproduction then it could be a, the reproduction of the physical layout of the organization so whether it is about operations uh, development uh, the factory development the manufacturing plant that needs to be developed or it could be the physical layout of the 
office structures of uh, a multinational organization, for example, banks. Uh, they do not have any manufacturing department, but uh, you would um, uh, you would see that uh, the international banks, which are operating in the local scenario, their physical outlook of their offices, of their facilities, they are replicated. They are tried to be replicated according to its international um, image. So you would see that Standard Chartered has its own look. HBS, uh, HSBC, they have their own look. Uh, and other international banks, when they, uh, uh, although they are operating in a local scenario, they have their own particular personality uh, and offices which look like uh, the of, uh, which look like offices of that multinational. Similarly, uh, you see McDonald's uh, facilities. So you go wherever in the world, McDonald's facilities, they are designed and developed in the same way, same type of color, same type of outlook, same type of furniture, same type of layout. Uh, and so that type of structure reproduction is something which needed to, which is needed to be done uh, at every subsidiary level. So that task could be uh, given to a person as structure reproducer. Uh, then the third task of uh, uh, an expatriate assignment could be that of a troubleshooter. So a troubleshooter from the word is self-explanatory that an individual who is sent to a foreign subsidiary to analyze and solve a particular operational problem. Uh, it could be an operational problem. It could be operational problem in terms of human resources. People may not be performing well. So a person may be sent uh, from uh, the parent, con parent country to work with the uh, organizational development and human resource development for training purposes. So anybody who is sent for the purpose of troubleshooting a problem uh, is uh, a troubleshooter. And then finally, the uh, uh, most important task of, a, of any assignment is that of being an operative. So operative is the one who manages the operations of a particular job, uh, the day-to-day -day activities of the particular job. So individual whose assignment is to perform functional job tasks in an operational uh, structure in generally lower level supervisory positions. So operatives are the one who manage the day-to-day -day activities of the multinational uh, business and they usually exist at the lower level but they also that the the function or task of being an operative may also be done at the middle level management or higher level management in which you are looking after the operations from a higher level. So every uh, manager's job involves looking after the operations from some level. It may not be from the operative level, but looking after the operations is part of, the, of every manager's tasks. So uh, these are the four type of tasks which may be assigned to a person on an international assignment and According to the task which is given to the person, the performance of that person is going to be evaluated on that particular uh, aspect and on that dimension.